Petey, tell us where you grew up, man, in Minnesota. What's tell us about your hometown. I uh, grew up in Anoka, uh, played hockey from the age of three or four. My dad got me into it. Uh, that ice is nice program where we, you know, you push the lot, the chairs on the ice. Um, and so here I am with these massive glasses, this Minnesota Viking starter jacket, uh, and CCM gloves that are like 10 sizes too big, trying to learn how to skate. And that's where I fell in love with the game. And uh, it was a Northwest suburb of Minneapolis, St. Paul, um, played, played hockey all the way up through youth. And, you know, then we, uh, I graduated from Stillwater high school in, in Minnesota on the East side of the suburbs. So, uh, I got a lot of, a lot of pride for my home state certainly the sports teams from my home state, not a lot to root for typically, but um, a lot of pride in, in being a kind of a Homer. Best Minnesota, the ponies is a great nickname. It's the water ponies. Give us your, your, your definitive sort of couple favorites here of Minnesota high school hockey team nicknames. Oh, that's so good. That there's, there's some really good ones and I'm drawing a huge blank right now. Um, ponies was our, yeah, we were the Stillwater ponies, which was maybe the worst. Now, backstory to that back in like the 1910s or 19, the roaring twenties, they were the Stillwater stallions, but I think they determined that was too, um, masculine of a name at the time. So they wanted it to be more like, let's find a similar animal. That's more like neutral. Right. And so they picked ponies, which is fine. I mean, I, you know, I'm not afraid of repping the Stillwater ponies. I had a shirt up until I might still have the shirt from our student section that was pony pride on it. Um, but our rivals, like our biggest rivals in all the major sports was the Moundsview Mustangs. So here's the ponies and the Mustangs, the same, virtually the same animal or similar, and they're our rivals. So they would, they would chirp us every single game, uh, basketball, football, baseball, you name it. I'm trying to think there's, there's some good nicknames in Minnesota. I'm drawing a blank. When I was in Anoka, it was the Anoka tornadoes, which was pretty awesome. Um, how about, uh, how about Moorhead high school? The spuds. Oh the yeah. Spuds. The potatoes. So <laughs> when I, I spent three years up in Roseau, um, on the Canadian border, my first three years out of college. So the first three years of broadcasting high school sports, everything from high school, hockey, basketball, baseball, softball, volleyball, football, and Rozo's biggest rival other than Warroad. So Warroad's the fighting TJ Oshies and Rozo's the fighting Dustin Bufflins. Uh, if you want a, a reference of a couple of NHL players from those towns. Brock Nelson too. Brock Nelson from Warroad. Um, Aaron Ness uh, from Rozo. He played some NHL games in the capital system. Um, Neil Broughton is a Rozo guy. But Moorhead is like the biggest rival outside of that, like small mm -hmm. radius on the Canadian border for Roseau. So they would play Moorhead, the Spuds, in every single section final, it seems like, every year. And it was the big schools in Minnesota. So Roseau is only like, I think it's like 2,000 people in the entire town. But the high school from like K through 12 was like 900 students. But mm -hmm. they were in the big division of Minnesota high school hockey because they wanted to be. Like Warroad's in the smaller division. Rozo's like, yeah, let's be in the big division. Well, Moorhead's a huge area, more, the Fargo-Moorhead area. So Moorhead's a bigger school. And here's this little guy, Rozo, that's always competitive that would play Moorhead in the section finals every year. But that's a good one. Spuds. I don't know if there's a Spuds. better nickname. 